I've been hyping up my favorite WordPress theme for quite some time now. That theme is of course GeneratePress. It's the same theme I recommended for the photography website we started building in a series here on YouTube. But the truth is, I've already been using this theme for well over a year now. And today, I'll be showing you all of the websites I've built using this theme. This should give you a bit of an overview of how versatile this theme is and why you don't need a specific theme for each of your websites. I want to start off with what is my most successful website today. That website is found under the URL leonliam.ch. It's in the German language, but for this video it doesn't really matter because we're focusing purely on the looks. This website was launched on Squarespace in 2016. So you know I'm talking from experience when I recommend it that you do not use Squarespace for your photography website. The final nail in the coffin for me was when I wasn't able to nicely configure Google search snippets on my website. I then relaunched the website on WordPress in April 2018 and I did this using the theme Zephyr which I bought on themeforest.net. This is exactly the type of theme I warned against in a previous video. It came with a bunch of plugins I had to install in order to use it and it just felt really bloated. All of that made maintenance a real nightmare and I just couldn't get the speed up to a satisfactory level. And finally, about one year ago, I switched over to GeneratePress and I've never looked back since. I've also made heavy use of the WordPress Show Posts plugin on this site. Let's have a look at a few pages. Already on the front page, we can find our first WordPress Show Post list. And if we scroll down a bit further, you'll see a second one too. The normal blog is formatted just like any other blog. There's a picture up top and a bit of text at the bottom. Action, which is all about local trips and adventures, uses a massive hero image up top to entice visitors. The text also contains a few more images than other ones perhaps would. Now the part you can see down here which contains further excursions is done using a generate press element and a WordPress show post list. Let me show you how I did it. The three boxes are made using a basic list. There's nothing special about that. In the element, which is a hook, I've got this bit of code which will display the title and the list previously mentioned. This is set to display before the comments container. Using these hooks, you can display any type of content from any plugin automatically before, after or even in between your content. It's really pretty genius. Next up is food. And there are a few niceties to be found here too. The hero image you're looking at isn't quite as large as the one in the action header, but it still lets visitors have a look at what they're about to cook or bake. This hero contains a few extras, such as a link that will take you directly to the recipe and two download buttons for PDFs. The latter two are done using advanced custom fields. And I've done a bit of a write-up on how I did that on my blog, so I'll link that down below. I've placed the link to the recipe there because I've seen a lot of food blogs get quite a bit of hate because they usually start with a massive story and the recipe only follows at the very end. Now I understand that hate but it is also justifiable why that introduction is there. You see most of the visitors come from Google and without that text we'd have no chance of ranking on Google. But I think by placing that button in the header I found a nice little compromise that suits most. The rest of the article follows a pretty standard layout. You've got your introduction the ingredients and the recipe itself. Further down there's a form allowing visitors to sign up to my newsletter that has also been created using the same hook I showed you earlier but instead of the WordPress show posts shortcode I inserted the shortcode from my newsletter plugin and scroll down even further and you'll see a few related recipes. These are once again WordPress show post elements and the recipes change depending on which type of recipe the visitor is looking at. There's a few more things I did to optimize this page. All of the icons are in a vector format that makes their file size a lot smaller but their quality increases and just about all of the pages have been created using the built-in sections from Generate Press. The individual sections um, have been highlighted using different background colors. With that website out of the way let's move on to the next one and this one is called homeassistantguide.com. You could consider this one the polar opposite of leonliam.ch. I wanted to keep it as minimal and speedy as possible while still making it look good. So there's no images on the front page and just a simple WordPress show posts list. This website focuses on one of my hobbies and that is a piece of software called Home Assistant. And I just use this site to share my configuration and some very basic guides. If you open up one of the posts, you can see that I haven't done much customization so far and things are kept pretty basic. This site could definitely still do with some work, but 
it shows how good Regenerate Press looks right out of the box. What we're looking at here is my personal website, my business card if you want. It is meant to be a hub showing all of the things I do. And the big hero image is of course one of my own photographs. The front page was, as per usual, created using Generate Press sections and it also includes, surprise surprise, a list created in WordPress show posts. Below that is a simple contact form I created using Ninja Forms. My blog also makes use of page heroes and in the sidebar you can see some social icons I've created using the lightweight social icons plugin. The individual pages containing guides and reviews are simply just WordPress show post lists. There's a bit of a pattern emerging here, don't you think? And finally, there's the website we created together here right on this YouTube channel, and that is lacphotography.net. This one is still very much a work in progress, but as a portfolio website, it already does its job, and it does it fantastically. As you might already know, these galleries were also created using WordPress show posts. The sky's the limit when it comes to this plugin in combination with Generate Press. If you're interested in where I'm taking this website next, make sure you subscribe to this channel. I've got some quite interesting things coming up. And with that out of the way, we are done with this showcase. I hope I've shown you just how versatile Generate Press can be. We've seen four examples of very different websites. One was a food blog, we had a programming blog, a personal business card and a photography portfolio. All of these were created using the same theme. And the best thing about all of this, you only pay for it once. The same goes for WordPress show posts, by the way. As always, I would love it if you left a like on this video and stay subscribed if you want to see more fantastic content coming up. Anyways, that's enough from me for one day. I will see you in the next one. Bye.